Welcome to WebSoftTech Software Solutions. Today I am going to explain about our MIDI software. Uh, so before beginning, our, uh, I will explain about our the company uh, Our uh, software is a completely online software. Without internet, our software won't work. So whenever you will purchase the software from us, uh, you will get the uh, domain name based on whatever the company name you are having. On that basis, you will get the domain name. To that domain only, we will host the stock software. Here in the software, you will get the mainly two panels. One is admin panel and another one is branch panel. In admin panel, all the admin related activities such as creating the plan parameters and all and uh, uh, your admin related activities, creating branch and branch users and all. Uh, some major uh, loan approval and all, most of the major things will be done in the admin panel. And uh, second one is the branch panel. In the branch panel, where you, are, you can create the customer based on the branches, their uh, appearance, and uh, you can collect the amount from there and all uh, in the branch panel. So right now, I will explain you about the admin panel. So first, you need to enter the username and password. Then add it to the capture. So once you will log in here, <coughs> you will get the uh, first one you need to go to company profile. There you need to update your company profile details. Means um, like what is your company name, company name, company short name, about your company address line and uh, then address one address two. you can split address and you can provide here pin code, city name, contact details and company details. What is your PAN number, time number, then everything you need to add here. Then you need to enter the paid up capital. What is your paid up capital? You know? That one you need to enter and you need to click on update here. So once after that, next thing you need to do is add a promoter here. So here, add promoter. So by clicking on the uh, that appropriate details here by providing the username, uh, first name, last name, and their member type, shareholder, and uh, last name, but whatever the star marks are provided. No, the, these are the mandatory fields. Those things you need to be entered. Uh, must they they need to be entered? Uh, okay. Uh, so our date of birth, age, gender, uh, that everything you need to provide and voter ID, PAN card number. Then his present address, permanent address, and then nominee details. Who is the nominee for that one? Those details, and then the KYC details you need to enter and click on continue so that your uh, whatever <coughs> promoter is there, no, that will be added. So, in view promoter option is there. From there, you can check the whoever the promoter you added, you can check there. So, here you can get the promoter like this. So, here you can check the over the promoter name and his related details and all you can check here and who is the member id is the appointment date registration date and who is the promoter whether he is active or whether he is active or deactivate or then is the uh, director of the promoter details you get and you can share transfer option is there by clicking on here clicking on edit you can transfer the shares from uh, one uh, from promoters. You can transfer the uh, share to your member. See here, you will get the what is the total number of shares. So, what is the remaining share and number of shares allotted to this particular uh, as a promoter that will you will get here. So, minimum share transfer amount, uh, minimum share transfer you have to add here. Then, number of shares who to whom you have to transfer, and then click on add new means the share will be allotted to this particular. <coughs> promoter okay from this pro pro promoter you can transfer it to another customer and all okay so after this next thing you will get here So next thing you will get here change password. 
so here you can change the admin password and all by providing the appropriate whatever the password we have given here no? here you will, it will provide the what was the character need to be added and what is the particular size of that one everything what need to be that what that password should contain everything it will displace you according to that you can set your password then create financial year there here you can create the financial year whatever the okay and in update financial year you can check and you can update here then next next thing here is EOD and BOD EOD BOD means at the beginning of the day or end of the day so whenever you start the new collection uh, uh, entries and all that uh, means at the start of the collection we, you have to start with a BOD first you need to do the BOD then uh, you need to start your whatever the collections and withdrawal payment repayment everything you need to do once after that that particular days uh, transactions are over then you need to do the EOD once you do the EOD then only this particular date will be updated to next date okay so after that next EOD and BOD then you will get the software configuration so here in this particular uh, menu you will get particular menu you will get the uh, whatever the bond or whatever the passbook and all whatever we are providing you know, its related details you will get here okay for example uh, you can see here the RT bond what to what was the side EG it should have and then like size like was FD bond and all uh, what is the size of that one we are how it is printing what are the details it is printing everything and likewise here uh, share receipt and everything say passbook blank passbook what uh, what uh, what kind of what size it should contain everything details we have uh, provided here based on that you have to create your you have to uh, prepare your uh, passbook uh, passbook size and all and uh, based on that whatever the bond size there you know, uh, we have provided on that basis only you have to make a ready of your that uh, bond and all okay so after that <coughs> Once after that, next thing you need to do is create branches. Now create branches there. Here you can create the branch by providing the uh, name, code, what is of a particular three digit code you need to add here. Then state, address, contact name, phone number, mobile number, email address, everything you need to enter. And you have to create the particular <coughs> uh, branch here. Okay. So in view branch option is there. So in view branch, you can check the what are the branches you have created. You can check here. So what was the code name? And who is the contact person? Their details you will get here. Okay. Once after that, next thing you will uh, you have to do is create the employee for that. Now. So here uh, in HR model, there is an option called create employee. By clicking on here, you need to select the designation branch user, select the brand and select the state uh, his company uh, customer name mobile number everything all the details you need to add and then you need to enter enter the customer name password and everything you need to enter and click on create the staff is created and in view uh, manage employee you can check the what are the staffs you have created and all uh, you can check okay so what was the branch name employee name contact person all the details you will get here and the uh, that particular start joining letter terms and condition letter details everything you will get here so <clears throat> once after this adding the branch and branch customer branch user next thing you have to do is go with the banking master so in banking master first you need to set the relationship between nominee and the particular customer what is the relation between nominee and customer that by defaultly some uh, uh, relations we have added here apart from that if you want to add some other extra uh, relations details and all then you can add here okay after that next thing you need to do with the share parameter okay in the share parameter you need to enter the what is the share of uh, per share value minimum share how much uh, per, per, per particular person what is the minimum share you are providing and maximum how, how much you can take 
and everything if uh, dividend is declared what is the dividend declared that everything you need to provide and click on update on that one so after that fees parameter you need to enter the particular particular fees you are taking admission fees debt fund fees building fees and what are what different kinds of fees you are taking you need to update here so soon after that you need to add the thus sb account parameters so in sb account parameters <coughs> You need to select the type of a SB. Okay, what kind of SB type it is? Uh, saving means uh, uh, saving you are opening or minor, major students and four different, uh, four, four, five different kinds of SB account type is there. So whichever your plan is having, you are having the whichever plans you are having. Select that one and based on that you start uh, entering the details uh, like such as minimum balance, maximum balance, rate of interest maximum period service charges how much you are taking if uh, minimum for pay closer and if in my minimum balance is not maintained how much penalty you are taking that everything you need to order the uh, with checkbook and without checkbook what is the penalty you are taking and uh, uh, everything all the details you need to enter and click on update okay so after adding the sb parameter next you need to add is a plan parameter so what are the different kinds of plan you are running like SB, uh, not SB, it's a RD, FD, MIS and PIGMI, different kinds of plans are there, no? So based on that you need to select here which plan you are going to add, that particular plan you need to select. For example, for let's say if I want to add some any FD account, then the FD plan you need to add here. Okay, what is the plan name? So for example, I am running FD. Okay, so then what is the plan code? Okay, yeah. two zero, two zero. okay, then duration how many months? It's a month duration means it is a one year month, one year means 12 months. What is the rate of interest you are providing? Interest rate you need to rate you have to add. So if you are agent providing agent commission, you need to provide to the agent commission and select the compounding period monthly, weekly, yearly, quarterly, that one you need to select and minimum deposit amount, that one you need to add. So for FD, I am providing 25,000 is a minimum deposit amount and maximum period, maximum minimum period for that one is 3 months I am providing. So then after that, senior citizen rate of interest you need to add here. So if you click on that, your FD plan will be added. So like and in view plans option is there, you can check here. So in view plans, you can check the what are the different plans you have added. Its related details will be shown there. So for example, <coughs> you can check here. All the kinds of what are the plans you are like FD plans, MIS plans, pick me plans, every all the details, its related plan code, plan duration rate of interest, agent commission you provided, then compounding, minimum deposit amount, senior citizen rate of interest and everything is provided here. So if you want to edit that particular plan, click on edit and you can edit that particular plan. Okay. So after, so like this you can add the different different your plans like FD, RD, MS and you can play, you can add the plans. After that, add pre-maturity slabs. So in pre-maturity slab, uh, you can add if a particular customer is created for a one year plan if you want to close that account after three months after two months or after seven eight months then what kind of rate of business you are going to provide for that one what is the penalty you are taking from them so that one you need to set here in the uh, add plan parameters uh, sorry add pre-maturity slabs for that one you need to select which plan for which plan you are setting the pre-maturity slab that one you need to select here so for example i am showing one rd one year plan is there cm for that one we have said 1 to 90 days uh, what is the penalty for <coughs> 1 1.5 percentage penalty and 4.5 percent rate of pre-maturity interest we are providing so likewise for one year we have added that particular plan 1 to 90 days from 90 to 180 days 180 days to 270 270 so 364 days we have added the uh, pre-maturity slash for that. likewise you can add for different different plans also like uh, for FD, MIS and also you can add that one so after that uh, you need to set the service 
uh, deduction how much service tax you are deducting for NAFT charges, RTGS, MPS charges, SMS charges, SB maintenance, how much water how service charges you are deducting those are for all for, for those all charges and all you need to enter the amount for here well, with GST and without GST you can add the service charges for them then add the means if you are having some other de deduction and all you need to add your sub -bomb. by default some charges and all we have provided apart from that if you are collecting any other charges and all you can add here okay here add service charge option is there so here you can add the service charge for them okay uh, this is about the uh, setting up your banking master so after that the next thing you need to set here in a loan so here in a loan by defaultly some products will be added by us for example in few product you can get some by default some products will be added by us so if you don't want to them here click on edit and you can change their product name and all okay so uh, <coughs> by defaultly some product will be added by us if you don't want you can change here then for that particular product if you want to add the sub product so here so create sub product option is there so in create sub product op option you can add the sub product for that particular mail product for example so i am adding okay Sub product added successfully. So after that, after adding sub product, then you need to add the interest for uh, for that particular product and all. So I will select my product basic loan. So here interest, well, what is the product I am added to? That one I need to select here. So new basic loan. Okay. So select the interest apply or declining that one I will select rate of interest how much you are providing. Then after that click on add. Okay. For this particular plan, rate of interest loan is added successfully. So okay. After that a view loan interest tax here you can check for particular plan what are the interest tax you have added you can check here okay the plan wise you can get but each and every plan wise what are the uh, <coughs> a loan your percentage you have set you can check here okay interest percentage then next uh, add uh, next product will be uh, add loan uh, document category what are the document category you want to select see yes, by default is some products uh, so some categories we have added like image sign kyc poa some by default link some added so if you want you are having collecting some other kyc document you can add that category here and then and document list what are the document list you are take, collecting from the customer that one you can add here so for select particular uh, document category and add the document name there for, for example for the image you are taking collecting photo for sign you are collecting signature for in kyc you are collecting other card pan card bank statement that one you need to add here in the document list okay then add processing fees with the slabs for example for the whatever the plans we have created no loan plan for that we need to <coughs> set the processing fees with the slabs okay for example minimum amount will be 10,000 and maximum will be 1 lakh rupees okay processing fees if i am collecting in a percentage basis then i am collecting 2 percentage if i am collecting on the fee amount basis so i am maximum i am collecting 750 rupees so click uh, here and detail 
click on add details whatever they are processing fees with the slab is added okay so you can check here whatever the for that particular loan processing fee slab is added okay so next is loan calculator here loan calculator by providing the uh, whatever the um, uh, since you can check the whatever the uh, how oh, interest type or uh, what is the interest you are getting for particular by providing amount rate of interest in your and uh, selecting frequency of installment you can select this as check the uh, how it is calculating per month uh, per month wise or whatever the slab you are setting based on that how it is calculating what is the interest rate for each and every installment everything you will get it in the loan calculator then you uh, can add the loan purpose for five are collecting uh, create loan purpose is there so here you can add the loan purpose okay the next thing will be delete loan EMI. So if any loan is provided, if you want to delete that particular loan EMI, here do a delete loan EMI option is there. So by providing the loan appropriate loan number, you can delete the loan EMI if they have did wrong uh, in uh, while collecting amount and all. So you can delete the EMI here, and then. <coughs> delete loan option is there so if uh, you have created wrongly any if any wrongly loan is created so here delete loan you can delete that one so after that next other charges manage other charges like uh, bond charges penalty charges overdue charges you can add here so next thing after this one you will get here pending loans for approval in the reports okay first whenever uh, a branch uh, you no know, software bank from branch panel a uh, customer will apply for a loan so for example you can check here so uh, from branch panel customer will apply for loan then it will come to admin panel so in admin panel report uh, in report pending loans for approval here from here admin can approve the loans for loans of a customer for example you can check different kinds of loans who, which are approved by their particular branches and all it will be shown here so for them then you need to click on proceed okay to approve that particular loan so then you will get the details here over the when the loan is applied okay loan applied it when you are going to approve that particular loan and then what are the details he has provided what is the amount he is asked for and everything you can check here so if you want to approve the water then here you can get the document category what are the documents here there then click on the status and then click on approve so that particular loan is approved see that particular loan has approved successfully so once you approve that loan next thing you need to do is view approval loan accounts from here <coughs> you can check go for disperse that particular loan account so you can check the what are the loans here dispersed here so you need to select that particular appropriate loan and go for disbursement okay when you go for disbursement then you will get the loan details here when you uh, when is loan applied and uh, when you are going to disperse that date you need to provide here then <coughs> here it will show you and the uh, disbursement type payment mode cash check transfer left option is there so if you are paying by check then you need to go with the bank then it is showing the which of which bank is having how much balance if you are paying by cash how much the cash balance is there that everything it will shows you so then select the pay appropriate payment mode here so if you are transferred to TSB account click on transfer option so then the amount is transferred to that particular customer's SB account so you need to select that customer's SB account the amount should be transferred to that particular customer okay here view EMI is there click on that so it will show the EMI based on that so what is the EMI amount interest amount principal amount and all so you click on confirm here so your loan will be confirmed so here loan number, number will be generated once you want to disperse that one then disbursement pending next thing you need to do is the disbursement pending loan okay so here you need to select the which payment means I have ordered the payment him 
in the transfer. So I need to select transfer and select how many transfer accounts are pending here. So whatever the loan has uh, approved, the details are showing here. So I need to select when I am going to uh, do that payment. What is the transaction date? Transaction date I need to enter here. Then check uh, check number. Check check out transaction number I need to add here. And then I need to select the date here. Okay, select that particular loan and click on submit. If you do this one, then uh, amount will be uh, transferred to that particular customer's SB account. Okay, uh, by, uh, you can open that particular customer's SB account and you can check the amount will be credited there. Okay, this is the loan disbursement process. So if you rejected any loans, then view reject loans and all you can check the loans rejected details and loan balances. Here you will get the in, in which uh, in which branch which customer is having. Uh, loan disbursement pending amount uh, is having outstanding its details will be shown here based on the selected dates on this date particular loan in that particular branch uh, loan product name in this product how many loans applied and how many in that particular what is the rate of interest for that one loan amount how much he paid and what is the loan balance he is having it, everything it will be displayed here so that you can contact that particular person for collection you know okay then the world which are the world your account and uh, foreclosure loans wave of request means whenever uh, any client want to wave up his loan there is a uh, in the branch panel option is there to wave up that one once see click on wave up for that one that request will become in the admin panel so admin panel need to say uh, approve that request here so that request you need to approve here wave of request okay so these uh, and loan related uh, remaining uh, uh, reports will be generated here okay so this is about the loan okay after loan <coughs> next thing you i will need to go with the is accounting so in accounting by default some groups and ledgers is created by our team okay so apart from that if you want to create some uh, extra ledgers and groups you can create here so after that in reports you will get sub day book general ledger bank book cash book trial balance balance sheet you will get here okay based on transaction if uh, uh, any of our uh, customer or uh, staff has made a mistake while making entry so here based on the whatever type of entry like rd entry fd entry based on that you can uh, make a edit that particular entry by clicking on uh, by here selecting the appropriate uh, uh, plan so if it is already plan click on rd or can enter the account number there you can edit that uh, mistake on entry you can see update the account so like the likewise here you will get the uh, general entry contra entry you can make here uh, like a receipt payment account entry that everything entries you can make a provided option for that one so <coughs> after that next thing you will get is report in and all for that in reports option is there there you can check the report sb deposit withdrawal report interest report balance sheet report penalty deduction report and all likewise plan rd plans or means total plans uh, plan wise report closure account report matured report every that everything you will get here so likewise you will get the uh, general reports like daily collection branch collection renewal delete list everything you will what uh, new branch collection report everything you will get here so after that a business related report like ndsc report td maturity report in principal paid report everything you will get in the reporting sections okay after that next thing you will uh, additional is modification so here you can do the modification policy modification so you can send the account details here from one customer to one account to another account you can transfer that one so change sb account type you can change here and you can delete the account transaction delete account delete loan uh, so here get the deleted reports and all you will get here okay <coughs> so in tools you will get the communication communication between your staff and your customers you can communicate with the communication model so this is the related to our admin panel and all if you have any doubts about regarding uh, any uh, 
regarding uh, admin panel if you have any found any doubts and all so please please contact to our uh, support number they will guide you regarding that one thank you